Hello there, I am the Fabled Harpooner and welcome to another Ligeacris Hunt. The weapon class of choice this time is the Gan Lance and the weapon of choice is an upgrade of this particular Gan Lance, the Seal Gan Lance. So while I go to the smithy, I'll explain a couple of things from the last episode, Death Chains. Story-wise, in his face. Let's do the upgrade first. Upgrade. This, yes. I'm going to use this one since there's no new Ganlands available to me after hunting the Giganauts. The only other alternative what that was available to upgrade that I didn't use before was the Steel Ganlands that came from the Wraithian Hunt because of the Flame Sacks. Since this, was, since this was another option, I'm going to use it here. Pretty much okay, Gain Lance. Not sure if we can upgrade it any further. No, the Dragonite, Rathalos, and Nibble Snarf plus Dragonite. So, no more upgrades for this one. For now. That's okay, sharpness. Okay, shot levels, normal type, and a decent raw damage. No limit. Average, good weapon. And I'm going to be using the Barathar set. Mostly because of the extra blocking capability and both attack and defense boost, as well as uh, having some thunder lightning resistance. Now, since I did the, the urgent quest of the Legiacrus and completed it, the village is a mess from the earthquake, Chacha has gone missing, and a couple of things have been unlocked for me to do. Minor things. One of the things I could have done before, was from the religious quest, is to do this upgrade for the cook to get better milk items. So let's do this before I forget. And one of the dairy, da daily, not dairy, products has increased in quality, so it's definitely an extra star. And the other option that was unlocked is this one, which is for the insect box. Which, since it's not really that effective, influences the main storyline quest, I'm going to do anyway to get it out of the way, precisely. And then there, yeah, Ch 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 is missing, so technically I no longer have a decoy for the Legiacus to aim for. So I am going at this quest pretty much solo. At least have a shield this time around. So we have better cheese, which I'm not going to use this time because they're uh, not fresh. And we have better vegetables that I'm going to use since they're available and fresh. This, is this and this for example. Oh, well, we are swimming a lot, so this is going to be a good option. Might not be a bad, bad, oh, bad idea. This one does have thunder resistance, it's only three extra points. I think the polisher would be better. What other options do I have? This one grants extra defense. And this is... I guess I could do this one to remove the question marks symbols, but I think I'll go for the swimmer. Trainer's going to have no effect here, since I have no Shackalakas with me. And I don't get swimmer. Oh dear. So, Felder Le Grip. I'm not sure when I'm going to learn to pronounce this one the way I like it. Hunt a Le Giacus, or Felder Le Giacus as the main title. title. So let's head out. Now, should I go straight to 10? Thing is, if it starts at 11, I'm not sure where it starts, either 10 or 11. I didn't take anything else. If I tried to reach 11, it probably would have moved to 10 by then. 
going to try this way this time. See if it, how it goes. And if it's a no-go, I'll change my route for the next time I do this quest. For the next hunt. The really downside of this long way is that you run a lot so you lose stamina pretty fast. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm guessing in high rank, if you start near 11, you'd go there first. I mean, that's logical. If you're closer to that area, we'll go there. Many signs of it. They seem to be nervous, and I can hear it, I believe. Yeah, there it is. So now I don't have any raw protection, so I have to w watch out for that. <coughs> as well as uh, some of the attacks changing a bit underwater. See the front. Seem to reach further out with the with the charge in upwards step. And I completely missed it. Ooh. Now since I have a blocking weapon, most of the attacks shouldn't worry me too much. Although stamina, I have to watch out that I don't lose too much of it. So yes, I can block this easily. With just stamina loss. I think you lose health if you don't have guard plus one. Still blocked, but that's some health lost. Can't just notice. Oh boy. Oh well, too late. Notice not my remote or pad, more like, was running low on battery. So before I got the message, so I just plug it in. And that uh, exposed me to that attack. Find a moment to use the women fire. Okay, that was an okay shot. <coughs> Not sure where it was at, aiming at, but okay. Okay, so you can tell by the bubbling of the game lens when it's on the cooldown. And there goes the rocks. I like how underwater you can actually reach further out with that attack. Okay, finally got the enrage. Much sooner than with the light bowgun. I think I've got the boomerangs, but I don't really need them to cut off the tail. Not with this weapon, at least. Yeah, 
when in rage it likes to do the double spit of the lightning. We're in fire ready, let's try it. Maybe a bit far off. Well, still here. No flinch though. Shouldn't have hit me really. Seem to have pushed me somehow into their attack zone. Once you block the lightning attack, it does. You can actually move in closer and won't get hit. So any blocking weapons can continue attack during the animation as long as they've, they've blocked it from the beginning. As long as you've blocked it from the beginning. Oxygen a bit low. You can fight on for a bit longer. You don't have to concern yourself too much about the warning sign. Got some bubbles down here. Let's get the mini whipstone out, sharpen. Nice. Feline line sharpener is kicking in. Two stripes instead of four. Hopefully, I'll be using this properly, the flash bomb. Could bring my own, I suppose, stand once. And weapon fires ready again. Ah, the tail. Thought that tail was was going to go over me. Best it hit me to it. That hit got flinched, but no breaks. I'm gonna fall for that twice. Okay, chest break. I really hate that turning chest swipe with a claw. It's not even an attack. This time I got it. Let's go for the tail. You know that non-attack that still has damage included? The back move, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there we go, hits again. That was easy to cut off, because it did some damage earlier. And we got weapon fire as well. Of 
So let's see if we can get a break. Up the head, hopefully. Oh, there's the claws. The back is the only thing that I don't think I'll be managed managing to get. Unless I get a bit lucky with the shots. There's a lot of moves in a row. Blocking. Uh, okay. Seems that I got hit by the head, so the tail didn't actually connect. Oh, a lot of crazy things going on here. Yeah, apparently you don't get hit by the tail, I'm not sure, if you block the head from that particular attack animation. Ah, didn't turn around in time. Nice, head break from the women fire. Ah, missed time to dodge or, or step, I like. Oh, shot is completely gone. Well, at least the weapon is cracking. Well, at least it's at maximum now. Got the calf. And we didn't have to finish it off. Let's try to heal a bit. This now the Russian. And let's see if we can pull off a couple of hits to the back and try to break it if possible. This was the camera yeah, the camera was playing a bit oddly because of the yep, MP off the back there. Okay, another flinch. Then apparently wind fires ready again. Lynch there, not sure what exactly hit. And we're heading out to the nesting area. Hopefully this time I will kill it there rather than have to bring the fight back to 11.
Unfortunately, while on land, it's really hit hard to hit the back with a blade master weapon. Let's get out of there, which is a bit tight. How did Well, I managed to kill it before the next women fire is ready. I will have to use it. Ready, so I'll have to use it. Oh come on! I was thinking of that. Will he? Will it? Will it not? And he still did it. Don Bernabros. At the. Yeah, nice uh, glitch there, Capcom. Tell that attack from the front, but hit me from behind. Yeah, you explain me that. And there we go. It's a nice, nice way to finish a hunt with a gun lance, always with a women flyer. 32 minutes remaining. Oh, nearly close to the 20 minute mark. I think the light bow gun went over the 20 minute mark, over the 25 even, possibly. Maybe I'm wrong. Slightly longer than this one. And a lot of bugs flying about. Far to be precise, but far too many. They love to do that, don't they? They tease you. While you're gathering, you're trying to deal with them, and they fly away. Anyway, rewards. Well, as I said, no break, so we got the horn. I think this is the most the most important break. One on the head for the horns. Got scales from the other two. Arm spheres and must burn L, that's nice. Eyes, scales, claws, bonus plus. So you can get both of these bones. From Lagiacris, Claws, more Heights, another Shell Shocker, and another Claw. Yeah, new size, longest. So, this had been the favourite Arpuna, hunting a Lagiacris with the Gantlance, the Strikers Gantlance, I believe, was the upgrade. Decent overall weapon. Maybe the flame one would have been a better option again. The one I've used versus the Giganox. Very good, since this was a new forge, might as well try it. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.